welcome back guys to another video you're watching crypto night and if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button hope you all are doing well let's get started with the video the topic that we are going to discuss today is how to enter the field of cyber security now this is one of those questions that i have received the most be it in my youtube videos be it in my instagram dms although i'm not able to reply to every single dm but yeah i have gone through some and this is one of the most asked questions so i thought why not discuss about this video and educate you guys on how to enter this field most of my audience are younger audience just like me and honestly speaking when i was in my first year of college back then i had no idea how to enter the field of cyber security also at that time there were no such videos who would educate me on how to enter the cyber security field especially in india right so if you are interested in all these kind of content that would help you grow in life make sure you have subscribed and click the bell icon so that you never miss a video right so how do you enter cyber security field <laughs> there is no need to worry it's not a rocket science you just need to put in the hard work and do some things correctly now when i say this what do i mean so let's say you are in college right now right and a lot of people get confused is like i am doing commerce i am doing medical can i enter cyber security field and if i have to answer in short the answer is yes as long as technology exists there would be a demand for cyber security and there is no one stopping you actually right and you can be from commerce stream right no one cares you just have to be good at what you do now how to know whether cyber security is your interest or not now assuming you are in college now even if you are in school this would be really helpful for you because you know what to do when you get to college so when you are in the first year of college that is the experimentation period right no need to hurry about getting internships no need to worry about you know getting jobs etc you will get everything eventually just get good at what you do so the first year of college experiment everything if you want to do web applications do web application if you want to do cyber security do cyber security taste everything and then choose what is best for you but in this video we'll be talking about cyber security so let's stick to it now that you know that cyber security is your cup of tea and you want to follow this first of all is brushing up your basics now these basics which i'll be talking about in this video gets ignored a lot and as a result the cyber security professionals that you become have a lack of foundation i would say right so make sure you do these things very well the very first thing is learn about linux if you have to be a good cyber security professional linux is one such things where a lot of tools are developed right open source projects you can work on and a lot of potential for creation is also there second thing to learn about is networking now it is very important to understand how things are working what is an ip address what is a mac address how are the communication happening within the computers what is internet and lot of things around that right now where you can find them simply do a google search whatever term you want to find out okay for example you came across a term subnets what is subnets just search on google and you'll get a lot of details spend 1 hour spend 2 hours but the things that you would learn at this point would stay with you for life and would help a lot while doing cyber security projects it can be pen tests it can be bug bounties and a lot of other stuff let me remind you again cyber security is not limited to just pen testing and bug bounties the third fundamental topic that is necessary i would say is about web learning everything about web how http requests work what are http responses what are the request headers response headers different types of methods that an http request is using and all sorts of things around that so once you have clarity about all these fundamentals the next step comes application of these fundamentals so what i did was i applied it on bug bounties my first valid submission was back when i was in i guess second year of my college doing btech and um, then i submitted a valid vulnerability to microsoft which got accepted and that was a huge motivation for me that i was being called on the blue hat microsoft conference and a totally different experience submitting a valid bug now again a disclaimer bug bounties is not the only thing where you can apply this you can search for a lot of open source projects search github learn some more things contribute on projects and you would definitely learn a lot of stuff now for me how it worked i'll tell you 
there are two things that this valid bug bounties not just one microsoft bug but a series of bug bounties let's around 10 bugs how did it serve for me uh, firstly it gave me confidence right that i can do something with my skills and i can build upon them to learn more stuff and this thing is of my interest right this was the first point it served the second thing was obviously when i'll be applying for internships or job opportunities this would be really beneficial for me because if on a secure environment such as microsoft's environment i can find bugs then the company would trust my skills and give me an opportunity to work with them now comes the next step the next step is how to you know work in the industry the cyber security industry so the thing here is that don't get impatient that everyone around you is getting internships it can be in other fields let's say web development everyone is getting internship and you are not getting internship because of course it's a known fact that comparatively to other fields cyber security jobs are less at the moment but there is a requirement of good cyber security professionals everywhere so instead of applying for internships just from the first year second year just take your time and build upon your skills so again coming back to my journey what i did was i cracked oscp right and if you are not aware what oscp is how difficult the exam is i would link up my video over here i had created one dedicated video for oscp you can go ahead and watch that so when i gave that oscp exam it again helped me in increasing my skills and that was the game changer for me i would say because there is a very less percentage of people that keeps on increasing their skills what they do is they just focus on one thing and they get comfortable with it so don't get comfortable now once you have confidence on your skill just look out for some internships or job opportunities or probably work on something new do some research now how to look up for these jobs again come on man we are in 21st century and everything is just one click away you have to do a simple google search cyber security jobs search on linkedin and you would get a lot of openings just try to apply into them if you don't get job in one apply in the second one and so on you know there are endless opportunities you just have to see what is right for you so to summarize this video the very first point was get your fundamentals strong learn about linux networking http request and all sorts of things around that second point that was very important was application of your skills that you have learned the third point being improve your skills and build upon your previous skills the fourth and the final point was search for job job opportunities and internship opportunities so that you have some experience in the industry now i can make more such videos explaining each stuff in very much detail but this was the appropriate content for this video and uh, make sure to give it a like let's aim for 1.5k likes on this video make sure to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed the video bye bye they want to rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt they're silently scared that you'll figure it out i'll make it look like i'm losing won't bother hiding my Finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless